Hey there folks and welcome back. I am Chris from iLather.com and today we're going to do a shaving video with, uh, this is Black Ship Grooming Waseo, which has a really nice spicy scent. Maybe some cinnamon in there. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but it's a beautiful scent. It's, you know, more of a Christmas time thing, but I am inappropriate that way. When it comes to scents, I just use what I want to use when I want to use it. Um, and I'm going to use this today. Also, we're going to use the a Delta Echo Red Tip Super Speed, which is one of my favorite vintage razors. So let's go ahead and wet the face and get right into it. Stay tuned. All right, so here we go with our Black Ship Grooming Wasail. And uh, I've had good luck with this brand. Generally, Kelly, I believe is the gentleman's name who runs it, is a really nice fellow. And uh, I've enjoyed his products. I'm going to be using a Black Ship Grooming aftershave as well today, Thomas 2, if you're interested in that. And we'll be uh, announcing a giveaway during the shave today, so stay tuned for that. Try to give away things every single week here at iLather. And I hope you enjoy the content and the giveaways. Okay. Really nice scent on this. I'd call scent strength um, about a 7 or 8. It's It's pretty robust and really nice quality stuff there as well no problems whatsoever and uh, the blade here is Astra SP by the way brand new blade I think we'll uh, use this razor to shave the dome after this shave and, and just see how we do that feels nice uh, there's something about the Gillette ri <laughs> Gillette Gillette red tip that I just really uh, enjoy. It just feels smooth, comfortable, really a beautiful shaver in my opinion. It is rumored, and I say rumored because I can't really validate it, but it's supposed to be the most aggressive of the super speed razors. Uh, to me it feels a little heavier. I don't know if it feels more aggressive or not. Um, None of the super speeds are really aggressive in my view. But uh, this is supposed to be the one that is the most efficient uh, of the bunch. It is my favorite of the bunch, that I can tell you. So maybe it is. Maybe that's, maybe that's why I, uh, I enjoy it more. Okay. Excellent first pass. Stay tuned. We'll come back for fast two. Soap was uh, very nice on that first pass. I didn't have any problems whatsoever. Of course, I didn't expect any. Um, Black Ship Grooming is an established artisan. He does nice, does a nice job with his products. Super nice guy. Um, and this scent is really beautiful. It's really hard for me to explain other than to say it's, it's got sort of some spice in it, but it's, it's bright at the same time. It pops. Um, which I like. It is definitely not an earthy scent. Smells quite nice. Very nice indeed, at least from my perspective. Yeah, there we go. Ready for another pass. Let's see how we do here. Appalachian necktie there. <laughs> and see, I still get it all over me. Look at that. I'm, I'm like Busta over here. I guess you must first make sure you fully get the soap off your fingers before you perform the Appalachian necktie or it will be a sloppy Appalachian necktie. Okay, here we go. Cross the grain here. Or did we just do that? How many passes have I done? I'm, I'm losing track already. I think this is pass two. I can't recall. Yeah, pass two. Between the head and the... Uh, Face shaves. I'm losing track now, folks. And it's, um, it was a long week with my son in the hospital. He's doing fine now. He's almost back to normal. Now he's catching up on all the schoolwork that I went up to pick up from the school yesterday because he missed a number of days of school. Um, pretty much the whole week. He had a really really bad case of the flu, so much so they thought it was meningitis at first because he had pain in his neck and headache and 
very, very uh, symptomatic of uh, meningitis, but thank goodness it was not. Of course, you know, that can be much more serious than the flu. Although the flu can be serious if you get a bad case and it's untreated, but he's, uh, he's feeling pretty good now. He's not ready to get out and run a marathon, but at least he's uh, got his appetite back. He can, you know, eat and he's pretty much normal at this point. Okay. Excellent second pass. Stay tuned for pass three. All right. And in comes our giveaway for this week. It's, it's going to be Jeeves of Hudson Street uh, black tea. And the scent on this is just like black tea. It's not a scent that I like that much, uh, although I did um, scoop some out and lather it. It lathers fine. It appears to be a, a really nice quality soap. Um, my lather on this was really, really nice. So I'll tell you that. And I slapped some of this aftershave on just to try it. Um, and it felt great as well. So Jeeves of Hudson Street, um, black tea. This giveaway is courtesy of them because they sent this for me to try. And of course, I'm giving it away to you. Um, if you want to be entered, send me an email to chris at ilather.com. And in the subject line, write um, black tea, black tea. And uh, we thank Jeeves of Hudson Street for providing uh, this giveaway for you guys. I'll draw it next week on Saturday or Sunday. All right, and here we go. Back for our third and final pass. Uh, the soap has performed very well throughout this shave. No complaints, and I like it. It's got a nice scent. And again, it's more of a winter scent, but I tell you, folks, um, I don't follow those guidelines or whatever you want to call it in terms of seasons. I just wear what I want to wear when I want to wear it. I think the fragrance people are right that, you know, some scents work better during you know, particular parts of the year, like, you know, earthy and spicy does, tends to go better in the winter and fall and lighter, brighter goes better in the summer. However, we also have to consider the fact if, to, if you break soap types down into seasons, then people have to buy more stuff because they can't just buy summer stuff. They have to buy winter stuff and fall stuff and never, um, completely rule out money, folks. Follow the money. Always follow the money. Now, I'm not saying they do it specifically because of that. Because I, I do believe there's some substance to their uh, claims that there are fall and center and winter, excuse me, sense. But from my view, it doesn't make that much difference to me. It just, you know, I use what I want to use when I want to use it and uh, there's always a reason to change things or do things differently. Sometimes it's an improvement of the product, although many times it's incremental. And other times it's, hey, let's face it. If you're in this business, you have to continue to innovate and make things and do things differently. And then, you know, you have things like seasonals. Okay. Makes sense. Um, again, I don't deny that certain scents work better in certain seasons. and But on the other hand, it also you know, helps people buy different things for different times. So never never uh, completely shut your mind off from those things, folks. And a lot of people get angry when I say this, but, you know, one thing I have learned in my lifetime is follow the money. And if you follow the money, you usually get to the truth. And that doesn't mean at all that people are doing th things unethically or anything like that. It just means, hey... If there is a profit incentive, there's going to be a reason to do it. People will find a reason. So always consider that when you're evaluating everything. Follow the money. When something new comes out that's been done before and it's a new version, is it great? Um, you know, you have to evaluate. Is it is it really that much better of a product? Or is there a financial incentive in there? There probably is. But the product can be great, too. So, you know, it, it's it's difficult to, you know, tread these waters. But you do have to keep that stuff in mind. At least you do in, in my view. All right. I think we've got this uh, shave knocked out rather nicely. And you can see here, even after this, the visual, the 
visible, excuse me, lather's gone, does a great job. Wonderful soap here, folks. All right, um, let's uh, rinse the face off and we'll come back to the post. Stay tuned. All right, and in comes the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel. Great stuff. And as you folks know, I'm the world's number one fan of Thayer's. And if you don't know it, now you do. <laughs> Wonderful stuff, Thayer's, in my view. Really, it's the spot. Okay, quick review of the gear before we move to the uh, aftershave. Edwin Jagger, um, synthetic or silver tip fiber, I should say. Really nice brush that I've been enjoying quite a bit recently. Uh, Gillette Red Tip, excellent vintage razor. Um, one of my favorites. It even rivals the Fat Boy, to tell you the truth. Um, it may even be my favorite over the Fat Boy. Uh, and today we're going to use... Uh, this is under the old brand, but this is Black Ship Grooming, actually. Uh, Thomas II, which is a nice citrusy scent. Again, I'm mixing a citrusy aftershave with a spicy soap because, again, I'm inappropriate this way. This is what I do. I cross all barriers. I break the rules. And you know what? It feels great. <laughs> so, don't forget the giveaway, courtesy of Jeeves of Hudson Street. Uh, email if you want to enter in that. And boy, this has been a beautiful shave, and I will get ready to move on to shaving the dough. Thanks for watching, and until next time, let's help make the entire world shave great once again.